One of the ways that we've up started to upgrade the internet to better support mobile devices is through something that's called mobile responsive web design or sometimes just responsive web design. Responsive web design is the idea of building web pages that adapt their layout and on some level their contents to the size of the display. A site that's laid out for a very wide display can't just necessarily get smaller on a small display, it's not going to be usable. So there's this idea of how do I rearrange the same content to uh, be very usable on a wide display and also very usable on a small display. And this is tricky for a variety of reasons. I mean, obviously the display amount of display real estate is different, but also it's important to note that the dimensions are different. Uh, desktop and laptop displays are typically wider than they are tall, whereas mobile displays are typically the opposite. They're taller than they are wide. And so that's another challenge. So let me give you an example, an unfortunate example here of non-responsive web design. So here is our department's homepage. Um, and let me show you what this homepage looks like if I make the screen really small. It just stops, you know, it, it doesn't really do anything special. It doesn't rearrange. I just can't see all of it. And in fact, there are tools on Chrome. Let's see here. If I do inspect, um, and I'm going to go over here. Uh, oh, here we go. So I can, I can look at how this page would look on mobile. Let me kind of zoom over here. And you can see, how does it look on mobile? It looks like a smaller version of the desktop page. So if you imagine if you went to this page on your mobile device, if this is what you see, how would you interact with this page? The text is too small to read. There's no way I can click on any of these buttons or icons. They're way too small. And so this is an example of sort of unresponsive web design. This page is not responding to the size of the display and trying to lay out its contents properly. So let me show you a, 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 di a different example. Um, and I'll toot my own horn a little bit here. Uh, so if you go to my group's web page, um, this is the uh, list of members of the group. And this is how it looks on mobile. Okay, so what are some of the features of this design? So the menu has been eliminated. The menu has been turned into this classic sort of hamburger menu where if I uh, click on that, I get something that, that um, drops down, but it doesn't uh, take up space on the page because one of the things about mobile is that I don't have as much real estate up here. This is a lot narrower, and so rather than trying to fit all the menu items in here, which would make them way too small, I collapse them into something that I can open uh, by clicking on it. And of course, at this point, I think everybody has started to understand and internalize what that hamburger menu means. That's the name for it, the three bars. When you see that, there's enough sites that are using this as part of a visual vocabulary that you understand what it's for. So you'll see that the members of my group are sort of ordered here uh, going down the page. So, so how does this uh, site look on, on a desktop device? Let's turn this off. So here's how it looks on a, on a, a narrow um, a, a narrow display. So this is not as wide as a full display, but this might be how it would look on like a tablet sized device. So you'll see uh, at this point the menu has uncollapsed, so now I can see all the different parts of the menu. Um, and the, uh, the layout is a little bit different. So you might have noticed on the narrow display, I start to put the pictures on top of the bio. And once the display gets wide enough, I put them side by side. And if I make the display even wider, you'll see something else, which is that I bring in this menu over here on the display side that, allow, that allows you to jump around and scroll to different people in the group. So this is an example of, you know, and again, maybe not the best example, but a reasonable example of mobile responsive design. As the display gets wider, I'm using more of the real estate for interesting stuff like this side menu. Once the display starts to get narrower, the first thing that happens is that side menu goes away. The second thing that happens is I start to stack uh, the photo on top of the uh, bio and I, uh, I bring in this hamburger menu to create more space up top. So mobile responsive design um, is something that there's a lot of great toolkits for doing this. It's not hard, but it's something that we want to think about every time we develop new web pages because a lot of the people that are looking at them are going to be looking at them on a mobile device.